What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this super cool and super compact Coachman Apex Nano off-grid travel trailer. Now this thing is going to be awesome in so many ways, but one of the, the biggest ways I think a lot of people will appreciate is its towability, what you can tow this behind. But yeah, we're going to take a close look at the inside and the outside, the weight, and my recommendations in terms of what you might want to tow this with. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, let's first talk about the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,700 pounds. This thing is super lightweight. It has 1,094 pounds worth of cargo capacity. It has a single 4,400 pound axle, good axle rating, and it has a dry weight of 3,564 pounds and an overall length of 21 feet, 11 inches long. This is a really, really cool compact travel trailer. This would be ideal for some of your smaller tow vehicles. Keep in mind though, it is still gonna be a lot taller than your tow vehicle. It's still probably gonna be a lot wider and possibly even longer. So you absolutely wanna be sure that you are smart when it comes to towing this and what type of vehicle you tow it with. But you could get away with like an Expedition, uh, a Tahoe, um, some of your lighter duty half ton trucks, or some of your heavier duty mid-size trucks, some of your mid-size SUVs that have that higher rating like your Durangos, your Jeep Grand Cherokees, Wagoneers, you have the ability to tow this with a lot of vehicles just keep in mind how you balance this thing where you load the weight up and just really really pay attention to how it reacts when you tow it because again it's not just the weight it's the size you have to factor everything and just like we talk about with pickup trucks it's not just the towing capacity it's the payload capacity it's the wheelbase length it's the weight of the vehicle it's the type of engine and transmission it has it's the package that it was equipped with all of that matters in terms of safe towability so you can't just rush to judgment thinking that just because you have a truck that has you know a certain rating universally that it applies to your specific truck and then when we look at this specific trailer you know this thing right here again it's relatively long and tall for its weight so you just want to be very cautious when it comes to that looks like i got a little puppy that came over here all right so we're going to start from the inside of this unit then come back out and take a look at the outside so this is the apex nano off grid by coachman this is the 191 rbs asdell composite sidewalls very very cool if you didn't know an asdell panel a 4 by 8 panel weighs about half the weight of your typical piece of plywood that you would see on, or your typical piece of Luan backer that you would see on most RVs. So there's a weight savings there as well. But Asdell's a composite panel, if you haven't watched my videos before, and it's basically impervious to water and things like that, which can typically lead to delamination. Look at that, green certified off-grid. That's interesting. All right, stepping inside. All right, so up front, you have your bed, queen size bed. You got some storage on each side of it. What you lack is any type of privacy divider between the bed and the rest of the RV. So there's no curtain or anything right here. Would have been nice to have some type of a curtain, something that you can at least divide this area off with. You do have a nice large window up front, so you get a lot of natural light coming in, as well as on the side, but it comes with pleated blinds. I do wish it had like a blackout blind system. That way you can at least black this unit out at night or in the morning so you can sleep in a little longer if you wanted to. Coming over to the dinette area, you have a nice booth style dinette with storage under each one of the seats. And then you have a nice large window here, again with a pleated blind. The MSRP on this unit is right under $40,000, but right behind us, we can look at the price. $29,916 off of a $39,257 MSRP. So about 10 grand off the price. You have your kitchenette over here, cabinetry above. You have one air conditioning unit in this and only is supported for one. So you don't have a 50 amp connection. It's only gonna be 30 amp. You have a nice single basin stainless steel sink, nice stainless steel fixtures. Good storage underneath. Then you have a compact microwave oven, little two burner gas cooktop over here. And then you have a furnace down here. This is uh, where your hot air would come in. Dometic gas electric refrigerator. And you can tell by the vents here. This is because it's more of an off-grid model, but it would have been cool to see a 12 volt refrigerator in here. Thermostat, more storage above. Then you have a nice pantry on this side. 
So you got pantry space for your canned goods, plates, things like that. There's your breaker and fuse box. Looking in the back, plastic foot flush toilet, lots of cabinetry in here. Now, let's open up some of this so you can see what's going on. There's your toilet vent right there, if you wanted to know what that pipe going up was. A lot of space for hanging clothes. More storage down here. Done a good job with storage in this unit. Little sink right here. It's a nice size little shower for this. Honestly, it really is. You typically see the smaller mini tub thing and I don't really care for that, but this is a good size little setup they have going on here. Complete with shower surround. Nice medicine cabinet. You have your fan above. And then you have another fan right here. But this is very cool. I mean, it's super compact. It's super lightweight. And quite frankly, if you think about it, this is very similar to the interior of the Black Series that I had for a while. Except you get a slide out on this unit, so you have more space. They didn't really even need a slide out in this unit. It just opens up the floor significantly. But if you look at it overall wise, it's kind of a reversed version of the Black Series. But Black Series doesn't offer a front windshield, which this one does. It would have been nice to have another window on this side right here. But everything else is very similar. You didn't have a divider between the, the bedroom and the kitchen in the Black Series, and you don't have one here. Um, this is a U.S. manufactured unit, so that might stand out to a lot of folks. But yeah, overall, you, you get quite a bit in this unit, and it's not that bad of a price. From an off-road perspective, this is not going to be anywhere near the realm of as capable of a Black Series in an off-road environment. But if you're not looking for that level of capability, then what this does have might impress you. So let's uh, take a look at the outside of this unit. Okay, so we're going to start from the front, work our way back. It has a manual front tongue jack. That's easily uh, upgraded to a power front tongue jack if you want. It has space for twin 20-pound propane cans, which is pretty nice. In some cases, something this small, you only get one propane can. You have a spot for, you could probably fit two batteries in there if you wanted to. Nice fiberglass front cap, nice Asdell sidewall, and it has nice rock guard protection right here as well. From a storage perspective, nice amount of pass-through storage. Stabilizer jacks all the way around. Friction hinge door on the door. Nice size awning that extends out over all of this. This has the Lippard solid step steps, which have the wider platform versus their competitor. Goodyear Wrangler tire, check that out. So you have not only a name brand tire, you have a very good name brand tire, and it's an LT tire on this, which is super cool. And you can see where it says LT 225-7516. Nice frame section. This is a leaf sprung suspension, but it's only single axle with single leaf, so you don't have to worry about an equalizer, suspension equalizer in between. I like how everything's nice and closed off here. And this rides on this kind of rides on an interesting frame. I'm guessing that this is a boxed frame. Wow, that, so this is a fully boxed frame, front to back. This isn't just like an I-beam with a boxed section. This is fully boxed front to back. That is super cool. Then you got the outside of your furnace, power, outside of your refrigerator. Up top, you'll have the top vent for your refrigerator, plus some speakers out here. More stabilizer jacks, low point drain, four inch tubular bumper. Your spare Wrangler tire here in the back. All LED lighting. Back here you have an outside shower, outside of your water heater, city water connection. This is your black tank flush. That is your TV satellite, 30 amp connection right here. All of your sewer outlets right there. Schwintec slide on the single slide. Again, I don't really think this RV needed a slide on it, but you know, for that extra room it gives you, a lot of people will appreciate that. Your potable water tank, so this is where you keep your fresh water. And the other side of your pass-through storage. This thing is super cool and it is super lightweight. That's probably the, the biggest benefit of it. Plus you have plenty of room to put like weight distribution bars on this thing if you need them. You know, the Anderson hitch would be a really good hitch for this setup because of its weight. It'd be really easy to dial that thing in to really control any chance of sway. Um, but again, you always want to be careful. Overall though, this is a super cool compact unit that is easily towable by a lot of vehicles. And I think that's the area that a lot of folks kind of question, you know, what size RV should I get if I just want to be safe, if I just want to make sure I have the room for the people who are going to be coming with me. I'm going to back off of it a little bit so you can see what the overall kind of length and size of it looks like. So it's not super, super tiny. It's far from, you know, some of your small R-Pods or some of your small teardrops. This is a good size 
travel trailer. You know, it's a good size unit. You have a good size shower bathroom combination. I'm gonna say it's about the size of the Black Series, but it's significantly, it's like half the weight, fully boxed frame, which is, that's the biggest surprising feature. And you could put a little bit of money into this thing and really make it amazing. Wheels and tires, you don't have to touch that. The suspension, you don't have to touch that. Maybe a front power tongue jack. You know, maybe a few other little things, but this thing's pretty much ready to roll. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.